This is part three in my three part series about autism diets that you don't really need and you actually might want to avoid altogether. And I wanted to make this series to save you a lot of headache because a lot of these diets actually make matters worse. If you haven't checked out my other videos, go and check them out. They are either above or below or some, somewhere in the screen or below the screen depending on where you're watching this video. But I also made a, a video about the GAPS diet and about Nemechek and why you don't need those either. So if you enjoyed this video, I would like you to subscribe and share it with someone else and maybe even like it and leave a comment below. Keto diets are all the rage, but are they really a good idea for autism and for the autism moms to try for improving the health of an autistic child if the child's got uh, gut issues, behavioral issues or problems in general. I actually want to talk about why I don't think that might be a good idea and why that's something we teach inside the Barefoot Autism Warriors turnaround membership not to do because there's so many other ways of looking at fats and actually different children need different types of fats and at different types of um, at different times in their recovery journey, they actually need to change the source of fat as well. So I'm going to talk about what fats to use for certain types of problems with your autistic child and why a keto diet, a high fat diet might not be the best option for you. So if you've got a child that's already got imbalances in the gut, a, a child that's already got inflammation, a child that's already got behavioral issues, the high fat diet is not your friend. Because if there are unbalanced um, gut bacteria already or lack of certain enzymes like pancreatic enzymes, you might make matters worse if you go on this high fat diet. One of the reasons is that a high fat diet actually provokes endotoxins and it can increase inflammation. So if you have a child that's got these issues, you might be better off simply going for a combination of different types of fats and carbohydrates to feed the microbiome because the microbiome is like tiny soldiers that need different types of food and they certainly are dependent on many different types of carbohydrates to thrive including potatoes and berries and uh, gluten-free bread and fibers like that so um, certain other biotypes in the autism uh, community might not be thriving on a keto diet or a high fat diet as well. And we're talking about people who's got pyrrole problems. And pyrrole problems is linked to anxiety, agitation, anger, aggression, which might sound familiar to you if you have a child with those issues. If you have any of these issues, remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to diagnose or treat. This is strictly educational. But if you want to talk to me about these issues and what might be a, an educational route to take for you and your child, go to the link below and connect with me. Send me an email and I'll get back to you and have a personal phone call with you about what might be possible for your child. Now I want to talk a little bit about what different types of fat might be a good idea for you to look at instead of just a keto diet where you're doing a lot of high high fats which is actually the only indication for that being a good idea might be seizures it's been well studied in seizures that it might have a beneficial effect on seizures and for women um, if if you have um, pcos it might be a good idea to look into a high fat or ketogenic diet otherwise hmm, probably not so here are some of the different types of fats that you might want to consider if you're experiencing the following issues for your child so if your child's a slow growth type of child if your child's dealing with anxiety poor visual coordination immune problems or learning difficulties then the alpha gamma linoic acid Oils might be a good idea to, uh, or fats might be a good idea for you to experiment with, such as evening primrose oil, flax oil, and borage oil. On the other hand, this is just things that I'm mentioning from the training and the education in the Autism Turnaround membership, because we go into depth about 
how to determine your child's biotype and your child's bio individual nutritional needs that will change all the time we go into depths in that in the membership so if you want to study that and become an expert in that you need to dedicate time to do that but let me just mention to you some other fats that might be a good idea for you to try if you're having certain issues with your child issues like depression or learning difficulties or behavioral issues or recurring infections is an indication that the a the epa and dha forms of fat like the cod livers might be a good idea for your child if you're dealing with um, poor wound healing and infections and eczema and liver problems then it's actually a sign that your child might be deficient in linoleic acid and so that's what you get from flaxseed and walnut oil and hemp oil for example so you as you can already maybe get a feeling for there are different fats for different types of children and for different symptoms and for different situations and we can't just eat the same types of fat all the time and think that we're going to get the same sort of result from doing that so maybe you should look into that and then finally i want to tell you what types of oil you can use for cooking when you're cooking high temperature because a lot of oils get damaged if you use them for cooking and so avocado oil is really good for that beef fat and coconut oil and goose fat and lard olive oil at moderate temperature and i hope this video gave you an impression or some ideas about why it's not as simple as just turning up the volume when it comes to fats it's really about what fats to use for what types of children and for what types of issues and what fats to avoid for the same types of issues or, or for certain t children we need to get away from this whole diet culture one size fits all type of thinking and then understanding that we're all different and our needs change all the time so connect with me below if you want to have a conversation about this and what that might look like for your child or check me out at barefootautismwarriors.com the podcast there the free guides there will give you more information if you need to get started right now so thank you for being here hit the subscribe button and share this video with someone who think who you think might benefit from this type of information so from a fellow autism mom who had a child who had all the stimming the sleepless nights the eloping the screaming the aggression the tantrums the non-verbal autism i know what it feels like and i know what it feels like to be desperate to find a diet to solve that problem but there is no one diet that will solve all those problems it's a question of collecting all the healing puzzle pieces for your child's bio individual needs and that's what i'm here to do that's what i'm here to try and inspire you to do so talk to you soon and thank you for listening Thank you.